Every step tells a story, a journey from injury to recovery. Today we delve into the fascinating world of bone surgery, focusing on the two pillars of our lower limbs, the tibia and the femur. The tibia and femur are not just bones, they are the structural foundations that bear our weight and enable mobility. Understanding the surgical techniques associated with these bones is crucial, not only for medical professionals but also for patients navigating their recovery paths. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life, your one-stop channel to learn about orthopedic implant industry. If you are looking to dive into the orthopedic implants industry or seeking valuable insights to excel as a professional in this field, you are in the right place. In today's video, we explore the surgical technique comparison, tibia versus femur. Before we go ahead, a quick reminder. The information in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. If you suspect a fracture or any bone injury, consult a qualified healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. Every injury is different and professional guidance is essential for recovery. Let's explore these bones in detail. The femur, the longest and strongest bone in the body, extends from the hip to the knee. Its robust structure supports the entire upper body's weight. In contrast, the tibia, commonly known as the shin bone, connects the knee to the ankle and bears the body's weight during standing and movement. The femur's dense composition allows it to withstand significant forces, while the tibia's relatively thinner structure makes it more susceptible to fractures, especially in high-impact scenarios. When fractures occur, surgical intervention often becomes necessary. Let's examine the common procedures for each bone. Femur, intramedullary, nailing, a metal rod is inserted into the marrow canal of the femur to stabilize the fracture. Plate and screw fixation, metal plates are attached to the bone with screws to hold the fractured pieces together. Open reduction and internal fixation, or if, the bone is surgically realigned and fixed with hardware. Tibia, intramedullary, nailing, Similar to the femur, a rod is used, but the tibia's thinner structure requires careful consideration. External fixation. A frame outside the body stabilizes the bone, often used when the skin and tissues are damaged. Plate and screw fixation. Plates and screws are used, especially in fractures near joints. While both bones may undergo similar surgical procedures, the techniques vary due to anatomical differences. The femur's size and surrounding muscle mass allow for more robust hardware whereas the tibia's proximity to the skin and lesser soft tissue coverage necessitate more cautious approaches to prevent complications. The field of orthopedic surgery continues to evolve with technological advancements. Minimally invasive techniques, improved imaging and personalized implants are shaping the future of bone surgery, promising better outcomes and faster recoveries. Understanding the nuances between tibia and femur surgeries empowers patients and medical professionals alike. As we stride into the future, knowledge remains our most valuable tool. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our upcoming videos. Join us to excel in this orthopedic implant industry and to know more about the job and career growth which is available in this industry. Thank you. See you again next week.